know, I really hate your shirt. <laughs> I can wear this vest. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Good evening. I'm Bald Bryce. Hi, and I'm Quince Van Orden, and I have a full head of hair. Hey, everybody. This is my best buddy, Quince. How's it going? And he's here today with me because we both like playing board games, as you might have been able to tell. And I'm the one who's given him a lot of questions because I love doing deep thought hot tub. So we're both deep thinkers and we are deep board game players. So because we both like to think and we both like board games, we've been talking about a couple of board games that are really simple to play that you could also use to get your thinking on. Yeah, these games are a lot of fun, something that we enjoy, easily accessible, something that you can get and play around the holidays or just uh, your normal weekends. Awesome, so let's let's get to it. Do you wanna start? Sure. So the first game we're gonna talk about is Perudo, um, sometimes also known as Liar's Dice. This is what they play in Pirates of the Caribbean. This is one of my favorite games. I actually learned it up at Utah State. Go Aggies. All you need are cups and about five dice for each person. And what you do is you take the dice, shake it, put it on the table, make sure you're the only one who can look at it, and you are doing statistics of how many there are. You might say there are five fives between everyone. And someone can up the ante, and they can up it by adding pips, the little dots on the dice, and say maybe five sixes, or they can add to the number, but then go lower on the pips. So they could say six twos. I really like this game because it's kind of like a mix between ju just a good math problem and BS at mm. the same time. I love it because you will get into tense situations like he says 10 sixes, there literally could be 10 sixes. I'm not sure if I should call him a liar or if I should up it. Either way, there's a good chance I'm going to lose a dice if you get called out and you're wrong, you lose a dice, or if you call someone else out and they're right, they have at least 10 sixes, you're still wrong, you lose a dice. Let's move on. Let's okay, move on. Uh, so let's talk about code names. Okay. This is a word association game where you have to think really carefully about how you communicate with your team. You have two teams, at least two people on each team, and you have a five by five grid of a bunch of words. Each team is given something like seven to eight, eight to nine words. So it's words. seven uh, on the opposing team or the team who goes second and eight for the team. Right, first. right, right, right. You have your seven or eight words, depending on mm -hmm. who you are. And the objective of the game is for you to give clues that make your teammate guess your words before they are done guessing what their words are. But then there's always that little annoying death card that if you get your teammates to accidentally guess that one word, then it's all over. It doesn't matter how far ahead you are, you lose, the other team wins. I think the, the first time I ever played with my wife, I think I said the word ring and she chose boxing for boxing ring and I was thinking Saturn and it was the black and as the first first guess out of the box we lost right away I'm like oh yeah this is gonna be a great communication game so the next game is time's up again this is another game you don't even need to actually buy you could do at home so you write down celebrities you could write down book titles movie titles whomever you want put it in a bowl pieces of paper and it comes out in three rounds the first round you can say as much as you want, but you're not allowed to pass. So I'm just trying to get through all the different people as fast as I can. Round two, they have to only say one word. So maybe it was Darth Vader and they say lightsaber. So they know who it's associated with. But then the last round, the last round you can't say anything. You have to act it out the whole time. And act in such a way that people get it like that. Exactly. I should also say, the first round, people can guess as much as they want. The second and third round, it's also, they only get one guess. And so even if I say lightsaber, and maybe there is also Luke in there, someone could say Luke, but yours was Vader, you have to go on to the next one. Oh, that, that's sweet. Thank you. So what else we got? We got, we have Peru. Oh, Tsar, Tsar. So Tsar is 
Kind of a crazy mix between checkers and chess. A little bit of Othello too, black and white kind of going. Yeah, on. yeah, it, it, it rings of Othello to me. Each player has the same amount of different designed pieces. You'll have ones that are ringed, ones that are dotted, and ones that are plain. The objective is to eliminate all of one type of your opponent's pieces before they do so to you. A fun little thing about this game, though, is that each person gets two moves on their turn. The first move always has to be an attack. You always have to be able to capture another piece. Once a piece leaves its spot, that spot can never be used again which is kind of fun because the area in which you play gets smaller and smaller. If you enjoy intense strategy, this is a little bit more, but it's not so much that I have to take a whole day or learn from Russian masters to, to get this. <laughs> so that's our list. Thanks for listening. We hope that some of these games are, are ones that sound interesting to you. We can share some links down below if you want to like get a more thorough review about the rules and how, how it's played. Don't forget to subscribe. That's right. Is that? I don't know. I, I don't I'm know. just that's where our YouTubers <laughs> play. Feel free to comment if you want to see more of me. Um, if not, comment, say you don't want to see me. And I understand. Uh, especially this guy. Let's let's comment so that we never see him again. Name your favorite holiday game, unless it's Monopoly or Catan. And don't comment. <laughs> Go home. Learn a new game. <laughs> <laughs>